I'm Tyler Marshall. Hi, I'm Mary Hannah Miller. And I'm Ryan Berman. And our project is on how to plant a garden. And we're going to show you all the steps right up until harvest. We're going to show the simple steps from just buying a seed to tilling your garden. This video is going to show those who have never grown a garden before. Our garden is smaller for our own personal consumption. My name is Vince Ferry. I'm a plant science major at UF. This is an excellent spot for a garden because it gets plenty of sunlight and it has well-drained soil. Your garden fertilized helps increase the growth rate of your products. Miracle Grow, along with others, help as well. Actually, planting your seeds in a garden can take the longest amount of time. You want to take the dirt and make it into a mound so the rows are easier to identify when planting your seeds. The rows also make it easier to water the seeds. Some of the best vegetable varieties to grow in the springtime are peppers, lettuce, tomatoes, and squash. This is because they are not frost tolerant and as the weather warms up, more showers bring soil moisture to the vegetables. Different types of plants take longer times to germinate. These squash plants take 7 to 14 days to germinate. Growing a garden can actually be very beneficial to you and your family. It's very cost efficient. It doesn't cost very much to start a garden, probably about $50, and you can actually produce um, your own vegetables and fruit um, yearly. Growing your own garden is environmentally friendly because it fixes carbon in the air and sequesters it into the ground. Gardening is not only cost efficient and environmentally friendly, but is also a great and healthy option for a hobby. Getting out of the house and into the natural sunlight can be helpful for your health. It is something that can be worked on as much or as less as you please. Keeping a goal of your product in mind can be a self-motivator as well, and being able to see and hold your product can be very rewarding. 